Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. On Tuesday, we found out that the UK wage growth slowed down in the three months to September, and unemployment dropped by 23,000 to 1.31 million over the same period, while the number of people in work also fell. The zoo indicator of economic sentiment for Germany rose to minus 2.1 in November, a gain of 20.7 points from October. Meanwhile, in the U.S., Trump renewed his trade attacks on China, calling the nation cheaters, and he blamed the situation on the past U.S. leaders. On Wednesday, we have consumer price index data out of the UK and the US, and later the Fed's Powell addresses Joint Economic Committee of Congress. During the next day's Asian session, we have Australia's jobs report for October. Now, today I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair, which is in pullback mode after breaking above the Ichimoku cloud on the daily chart and reaching our profit target of 0.6927. As I talk about it in my book, Ichimoku Secrets, these types of pullbacks are normal after breaking above the Ichimoku cloud. And they can actually often provide a second buying opportunity in a general uptrend. The pair has already reached the 38% of Monashi tracement level of 0.6834 and might continue its pullback towards 0.6784 before moving back up. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.